Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Alessandro. Please like and subscribe. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing, hey doc, what's a monodont bridge? Now, a monodont bridge is very similar to a Maryland bridge, which I will be creating a video for in the future. And there are a number of reasons why you should or could really use one. Now, one of these reasons for a monodont bridge, which I'm going to show you both here, as you can see, it's kind of like a plastic tooth or resin tooth with two little tiny metal wings. And I'll take a picture and you'll see the picture too. And it goes into that space. Now, as you can see, the teeth are prepared from the tongue side, the lingual side. And what we do is we put it in, we insert just like that. So we put it in so it fits into grooves that are prepared into those adjacent teeth. And then we use composite resin material to set it or cement it, if you want to call it that, in place. So why a monodont bridge? Well, some people don't really like the idea of having an implant done, uh, and so they would prefer a more conservative option that does not involve surgery and does not involve the cost of an implant. Uh, so that's one reason. Now, uh, again, that, that's a personal choice. Uh, sometimes instead of just the implant, it would require orthodontics to create the space, maybe a bone graft to add bone, and then an implant. So there could be a whole bunch of steps and a whole lot of cost. So if a patient doesn't want to spend all that money and all that time to prepare for an implant, a monodont bridge could be a solution. Uh, what else? Well, a patient might not want to do orthodontics to just close the space because that might be too costly for them. Uh, a patient might not want to do a conventional bridge because that might be a too expensive and it could be a lot of work on two otherwise unprepared teeth. You know, teeth that have not seen any kind of decay or problems. That's a lot of drilling on teeth that are totally clean. And if that's the case, uh, then you know, I think that that could be traumatic to the teeth that really have not had any work done, and that could be a problem as well. Uh, so they don't want to maybe have the expense of a conventional bridge and a lot of work done on two teeth that really shouldn't be work done uh, unless absolutely necessary. Uh, what else? Well, a patient might not want to have removable done. They might not want to have something that they put in and take out uh, because they just don't like the idea. Uh, psychologically, it just doesn't work for them. And I don't blame them. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to sit well with a lot of folks. So that's another reason why a monodont bridge could be done. What else? Well, a patient doesn't want to do nothing. You know, a patient just doesn't want a space there. Uh, eventually, the teeth will shift and move and will become kind of crooked or tilted. And, and that, of course, might involve possibly their bite and possibly just aesthetics, something that they just don't want to see. Again, totally understandable. Uh, you know, somebody wants to have everything looking at least relatively straight. Uh, and what else? Well, maybe it's just a question of, you know, as I alluded to, you know, finances. They don't want to do something more expensive. They want to do something on the relatively inexpensive side. Uh, so financially, it makes sense for them to do this. Uh, as, and maybe uh, even, if you think about it, it could be a temporary solution. Maybe they're doing this just to buy some time to get the money together for something bigger, like an implant. So that is a solution. In fact, it could be a good solution if somebody has had an implant placed and wants something there. Uh, so there you are, another reason why a monodont bridge could be used. Now, what's something to consider? Uh, very important thing to consider is actually the, well, occlusion, the bite. So in this case, you know, if there's a patient that we know, uh, you know, and I'm gonna show you, the bite for this patient. If there's a patient that we know bites a certain way and the bite is not a problem, then it's a good solution. However, if the occlusion or the bite is a problem, then it's not such a good solution. So for example, in this case, this patient has a bite where we can do the monodont bridge and the bite really doesn't matter. It's not going to affect how, well, the function of the teeth, so with the monodont bridge, so it's not gonna affect anything in that sense. And it's likely not to be dislodged by the force of the bite because it's pretty much gonna be clear of the opposing teeth. That said, it makes the monodont bridge a great solution for front teeth. However, it's not a good solution for your posterior or back teeth because it's not designed to withstand, you know, really recurrent 
heavy forces of occlusion, of bite. So if you're thinking, oh, I wanna try that, do that in, on my back teeth, probably not a good idea unless you're opposing a denture tooth. So if a patient has a denture opposing it, maybe, that's a maybe. I'm not gonna say it's, it's a great idea, but I'm gonna say that's really the only scenario I see um, a monodont bridge working in the back with the exception of opposed by nothing. So if it's opposed by a denture tooth maybe or opposed by nothing, yeah, sure. But otherwise, um, you know, a monodont bridge should probably not be used at all in the back teeth. And even in the front teeth, you know, if the patient's a clencher and grinder or has forces of bite that are affecting all the front teeth, you'd want to proceed with caution. I don't think that this would be a great idea in those kinds of scenarios. Now, there are two different styles of monodont bridge. One of them is a layered composite style, which looks aesthetic, which is this one right here. So this one is a layered composite variety and it looks aesthetic and that's a good thing. Now you can also get one that's more denture tooth like, um, which would cost less. You know, it does cost less, uh, but you know, again, it serves a certain purpose. Uh, so if a patient is okay with maybe slightly compromised aesthetics or doesn't really care about aesthetics, and some people really don't, uh, then it's a good solution if you just want to do the denture tooth and save somebody some money. So who makes them? Uh, Dental Arts Labs makes them and they do a fantastic job. I'm gonna tell you, um, I've worked with them for a number of years now. And so they've done a number of other types of uh, items for me as far as laboratory work is concerned. And you know, their work looks very aesthetic and you know, they have done a superb job overall. So if you wanna look into Dental Arts Labs, uh, please do. And that said, I appreciate y'all joining me on my video. Thanks so much for joining me and watching this video, and I hope you're all staying well and healthy.